Welcome to Inside New York. I am so thrilled to have on today's program our returning award-winning screenwriter and playwright, Richard Wesley. It's been a historic fall season for Black playwrights oh, on yes. Broadway. So I could not think of a better person to have on the program to help open the fall theater season than our truly Richard Wesley, the award-winning playwright and screenwriter who has made history on Broadway and beyond to talk about this season as well as the future of Black theater. Welcome back, Richard. Thank you, Wesley. thank you, thank, thank you. It's you. a it's a pleasure being here. Um, I, I'm really excited. I feel like I'm helping you kick off a whole new season because we're right on the cusp of uh, the opening of the uh, new theater season, the 21-22 uh, theater season. Um, you know, in the midst of <laughs> an ongoing pandemic. Uh, but uh, there are now uh, new social protocols in place um, uh, that will allow us to have uh, audiences in the theaters uh, seeing presentations and for the first time in over a year. Yes, and as I introduced you, Richard, you've been making history, groundbreaking history with your plays off-Broadway and on-Broadway that many of my viewers may not be aware, you know, that you had a show, The Mighty Gents, go to Broadway in the 70s. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, 1978. Um, exactly. And uh, while, it, you know, uh, the history that's attached to it, there is, there is a very unique history that's attached to it. Um, the Mighty Gents um, was the first drama by an African-American playwright to be performed on the main stage of the Eisenhower Theater uh, inside the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Wow. Uh, and that was uh, roughly a month before we opened on Broadway. Thank you for joining us for this week's program of Inside New York. And you can see more of our interview with Richard Wesley on one of our upcoming programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll get a notice when you can see it on demand. And we'll see you again next week on Inside New York.